Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain some of the treatments for blepharitis. Now if you look back to episode number 82 of A State of Sight, I go into more detail about what exactly blepharitis is, but basically it's inflammation and irritation of the oil glands along the edge of the eyelids. Uh, these go right behind where the eyelashes are and in addition to the inflammation there can also be a component of bacterial overgrowth or bacterial infection that contributes to the eyes becoming uncomfortable, sometimes sticky and irritated. Now one of the primary treatments for this is basically scrubbing the eyelids to help move the oils better. Now patients can do this with a mild soap or a baby shampoo and just scrub right along where the eyelashes are to help move these oils, open them up, and get them flowing better. Now this is best done after patients do warm compresses with as hot a compress as they can stand without burning themselves uh, for at least four minutes. Then once the oils are warmed up, they have a better chance to move and flow better. Now based off of how we know this works, a company has developed a treatment that can be done in the office called Lipiflow. Now what Lipiflow is, is basically a way and a unit that can hook up to the eyelids to warm the eyelids and also massage them to really get these oils moving. Uh, now this may last for 6 or 12 months, maybe longer, and patients have been shown to be more comfortable after the treatment once a lot of the blocked oils have been moved and the other ones get flowing better. Now other treatments can be with antibiotics and a lot of times it's not exactly fully the antibiotic effect that we need because many antibiotics also work as anti-inflammatories. So we could start with ointments like erythromycin ointment or bacitracin ointment that can be placed along the eyelids at bedtime or we may choose to go to doxycycline or other antibiotics in the tetracycline family that are taken by mouth. Uh, these all have been shown to be very effective in decreasing the inflammation and making patients more comfortable. In limited situations, steroids may help with blepharitis, uh, particularly if the bacteria are overgrowing and then causing inflammation on the cornea or the conjunctiva. Uh, but it's mostly limited situations where we like to use steroids because of potential side effects from the steroids. So if you have blepharitis or you wonder about any other possible treatments or ways to become more comfortable, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.